hi welcome to my channel what we do on this channel we present and we react to different kind of videos news politics to be precise if you are interested in such content before leaving this video please subscribe to this channel and also remember to press the notification bell icon by doing so each time there's a new video you will get notified please do me one more favor click on the like button of this very video guys in today's video i will be watching the video with you with that being said guys let's watch the video together at the ending part i will be back with the rest of my thoughts less than 30 days before the governorship election the candidate of the progressive congress for the november 11 polls in bielsa state timmy Presilva, is in the last minute legal battle as he heads to the court of appeal to revalidate his candidacy after he was disqualified from the race by a federal high court in abuja the court ruled that the APC governorship candidate will breach the 1999 constitution if allowed to contest again, having been sworn in twice previously and ruled for five years as governor of Bielsa State. It reasoned that Silva was not qualified to run in the November 11 poll because if he wins and is sworn in, he will spend more than eight years in office as governor of the state. The position of the court appears to tally with the January 27, 2012 judgment of the Supreme Court, which sacked Silva as the governor of Bielsa State. Then, the Apex Court ruled then that nobody can hold office as governor or president for more than four years in the first instance and not more than eight years in total. Silva has, however, approached the Court of Appeal to reverse the ruling against him, saying the High Court wrongly assumed jurisdiction and committed a grave miscarriage of justice in the process. Meanwhile, the APC has postponed its campaign flag off earlier scheduled for Saturday, uh, October 14, which is today. And of course, as the political fireworks in Bielsa, uh, Bielsa State rages, let's serve you this clip of an interview granted by Silva to People's 93.1 FM in the state just last year, saying he was not going to run for governorship again. I will not run for governorship of Bayesa again. I have said it, that chapter of my life is closed. If I was to run for governor of Bayesa state again, I would have presented myself in 2019. But at that time, I presented David Lyon, who won the election, and we lost at the Supreme Court. This time again, we will look for a very credible bias, and we will run under the party. But I can tell you, since you asked a categorical question, I will also categorically answer you that that candidate will not be me. Well, politicians. To help us understand the political intrigues playing out in Bielsa, joining us in the studio is the executive director of the authority newspaper, Chuks Akuna, and we're also being joined by a former chief press secretary to Timi Pre Silva, Samson Atasia Oboru. Gentlemen, uh, you're all welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Yeah, so let me start with Thank you, you <laughs> Samson. Uh, Samson Atasia, what actually happened? I mean, you could hear your former principal saying it clearly that yes. uh, uh, he wasn't that was. going to run. Well, you see, politics. Sorry, thank you very much. Nice to have, uh, nice having me around uh, again. It's always a delight to be with you. And um, good evening to you. All. Good evening to Nigerians. Um, Bayasa is a very, very, very peculiar state. Peculiar in the sense that nothing is what it seems the day after. Do you understand? Now, we, if you had said so, it was based on the terrain at the time and. How would I put it now? The necessity at the time warranted it. I can give you an example. The present day minister for the federal capital territory, Mieso uh, By the way, um, partly by us, partly rivers. I enjoy both um, heritage. Yeah, they're all part of the world. And my, and my state. is matrilineal, <laughs> so I'm actually more by than I am river state. Okay. But let me tell you about Mieso Wiki. He, had, he said he was not going to run for, he was not going to take minister, uh, ministerial appointment in the PDP. He said if he lost the election, he was not going to do anything when if he lost the primary. But this is him here. He's not only, he not only did he come, he actually lobbied for it and he got it. 
So you see, it's not always what black politics is not black and white as it is. It's a chess game. But what he said was no, being no, no, categorical. No, no, no. Yeah. Where, where, where it's a chess, chess game. game. <laughs> yes, it's a chess game. Maybe the, the, the opponent had made has made a move in between when he said that and the now had made a let's say he had made a night gambit. And to check that night gambit, the bishop himself, the Don Capone, the, 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 we call him Don Pigatti. <laughs> well, and he, those he are has said, no, 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 yes. names, no, no, uh, where, 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 well, that's, well, that's what it is. It's a chess game. The, the opponent had made a move, and it's, it's up, for, up, up to us, up to him, to checkmate him even before he gets to check. Well, he has also been checkmated so, so, now. No, no, okay, well, uh, you're talking about the, the judgment? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, judgment, no, judgment, 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 won't stand. Judgment, won't stand. judgment won't stand. Judgment won't stand. You know, you cannot, you, you, know, you cannot, where you do not have jurisdiction, give a judgment, give a ruling. You have to have jurisdiction for you to give a ruling. Well, that's your opinion. Just hold on. <laughs> now, so bring Chooks. Chooks, well, you would have seen and heard um, uh, yeah. Timmy Presilva making a very categorical, giving a categorical answer yes. to a categorical statement yes. uh, while he was having that radio interview. And yes. of course, yeah. all of this has culm have culminated in the Federal High Court in Abuja sacking him. And as it stands, APC has no candidate in Bielsa State, though he has appealed the judgment, uh, including asking for a stay of execution. There was meant to have been a grand rally today to kick off the campaign of course nothing has happened what's your view of all uh, on all of this you see in my nearly 30 years of um, journalism one thing i've come to learn is that um, there's truth in the in the spiritual saying that um, um from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks mm. and that um, we also should be very mindful of things we say because things we say have a way of coming back to haunt us you see, I think the, the issue here is not Wiki or, or Don Capone or anybody. No, 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 no. Well, no that's no, not what I meant. The issue uh, here yeah. is Tim Prince Silva. Okay. You see, we have a similar situation playing out in Nasarawa State. And this is a man who, on his own, because when uh, Tim Prince Silva had the interview, there was no armed person there. He wasn't under um, duress. You understand? In Nasarawa State, we also have, because this, this is a, these are two um, related scenarios where people have, with their own mouths, called damnation, if you allow me to use that word, upon them, or, or loss upon themselves. Nasarawa governor, um, Abdullah Sule, on his own, he went to the floor of the House of Assembly and said that we are light, light, that to hell with second term, that he would do only one term. And it's coming to haunt him, whether we believe in metaphysics or not, or spirituality or not. But this is simply silver, because you see, the Bible says that if a man is not faithful in little things, how will he be faithful in, 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 um, in bigger things? You are a thing as, a thing as minute as will you run or not run? Uh, you know, okay, <coughs> let's see what the future brings. You, have been, you understand? Agenda. And you said categorically, you said categorically, you said categorically, he clapped his hand for emphasis. And said, and, and it's, just, just hold on. No, and, 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 and it's playing out now. And this has been a problem with our policies in Nigeria. You know, people say one thing and they do the other. Okay, a man who has said, what on what premise is silver campaigning? He's making promises. Mm. So if a thing as little as I won't contest and he's gone back to contest, so what is the guarantee that if he's going to do what he says? I'd like to take him up on this. Please. I mean, this is, no, no, no. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not so, so just yes. drive it to I'm, the I'm, current I'm, situation. I'm, 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 yes, yes. Because you're yeah. like Just hold on. Just no, 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 hold on. Because people. Because we are where we are today in Nigeria because, you know, we write something and then two people say, ah, no, no, it was just for politics. We just said that just to, you know, don't mind them. Or we are misquoted. Fortunately for us, Siva wasn't misquoted. He said that. He said he would get a credible candidate. And credible candidate also means eligible. I mean, a person who is eligible. Because credibility also means eligibility. And if you we, if we if we allow us to go back in time, I, I was SA Media to Andy Uba, and we brought up up all this drama on Nigeria when we stopped Peter Obi from getting the ticket of the Abga. Then Peter Obi would say, okay, that he spent just about a year in, in, in office. Why not test the waters? Peter Obi went to, to court and Supreme Court was silent. We went, in fact, a week to Andy Uba swearing in, about 22nd of, um, of May. That's as uh, Governor of Yes, Governor Fanamba State. Then, Peter Obi yeah. went to court. He went to Supreme Court and said, so we should stop the swearing in. Supreme Court say, what's our business with swearing in? If you like swear in 10 times, it's not our business. And exactly 17 days after we were sworn in, the Supreme Court threw us out. And it was based on that because people like Tim Priestley saw that Supreme Court said, your tenure starts running from the day you were sworn in. So he went to court and said, please. Because nobody also brought that upon him. He brought it upon himself. 
he was elected in, in um, 2007. 2007. Yeah. You understand? Then he May went. Yes. And then in April 20, e exactly. uh, 2008, he was, he was then sacked. He, he, he was sacked. Then he was only sacked. Not only him was sacked. There were five other, uh, four other governors. Ali Wamakov, Sokoto. No, that was in 2012. I, I know. I, no, yeah. no, 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 no. No, no. They had, they had rerun elections too in their, in their states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because Tim Priest Silver bailed the cat, he went to court. Because he was just supposed to have left, you know, or sought re-election in, um, in uh, 2011. But he said, no, that since Peter Obi went to court and the court said, your tenure starts counting from the day you were sworn in, that since the court nullified the nearly one year he served, he should also test the water. So he went to court. He got what he prayed for in, at the court. Um, INEC appealed because INEC was in a conundrum. Conundrum. Do we print paper, papers for elections in 2011? So he went to appeal. He also won. So INEC was confused. INEC went to Supreme Court, but you know, um, INEC wasn't too sure of what to do. Then something happened in Adamawa State. Brigadier General Abu Marwa, who is the current um, NDLA chairman, because he had gotten the ticket for the, uh, for the CPC. Yeah. So Marwa felt that, well. why would I get this ticket and this ticket will come to naught because one man in Bayasa went to court. Marwa joined, applied to join the Supreme Court, and that was what happened. We're here, we are. All right, uh, so APC has no candidate now, according to the Federal High Court in Bayelsa. Uh, what does APC, this, what's APC, the implication APC, for APC the governorship election APC, in Bayelsa yeah, State? APC has a candidate right now. Well, the, high court, when you the Federal High, high court, court judgment subsists where, where is the federal, where is at the, high the high moment. Court? Where is the Federal High Court? Where? The Federal High Court is one. It only no. has different divisions across the country. No, it don't. Federal High Court, Abuja. Good. Do we have a Federal High Court in Yenagua, Bayelsa State? Not only that, they are, that's why I said there are different why divisions, just like the Supreme Court, just like the Court of Appeal. Why, why, why did they file it in by Federal High Court Abuja in Yenagua? Does that really count? Now, Isn't the Federal High Court law? You don't have jurisdiction, you do not have jurisdiction. The law is what it says. The law is the law. It's black and white. If you don't have jurisdiction to sue Somna in Sokoto, you cannot go to Sokoto and sue Somna when it's from Zaria. And everything took place in Zaria. Took place in, Zaria. And in fact, okay, okay, so let's say Somna does something in Zaria. The event and everything, some nice and Zaya. Then you go to Sokoto and sue Somna and find Somna guilty in Sokoto. Who knows what who you saw there? Now, who you paid the, there? Timmy Pre Silver send his now, lawyers now, now, there now, or now, not. Now, now, listen up, listen up, let me tell you something. The, the party has a candidate and the candidate is Chief Timmy Pre Silver. And let me answer you. Sorry, let me take you up. Okay. Why he said you said he made an emphatic statement. Politics is not the same every given year. Yeah. The scenario and, and cannot that's why, and that's listen why to me now. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah. The yeah. scenario then cannot be the scenario now. Yeah. As we speak, Chief Timmy Pre Silver, I was his chief press secretary, is a man with nine lives and has an audacity to win. As we speak right now, there is no bias that has the capacity and pedigree to win as Chief Timmy Pre Silver. And politics is about winning. First, you win first, then we come to the table and negotiate. We, have, we are in politics to win. So does it mean that uh, David Lyon on. couldn't have won this There's election no way David if he had given the no ticket? Way David, because if he said he was capable listen in the last election, listen listen why didn't listen, he give him the ticket up. again? That was then. And you did hear me. The politics of yesterday will not, cannot be the politics of today. If, if Asiwaju, Mr. President, with all due respect, sir, had run for presidency eh, in 2014, he would have lost. No, uh, wait, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, just, just, just hold on, on. Just, just hold on. Just hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. You check politics out. Like I said, it's a chessboard. You check it. When is, the, when is your best opportunity? When is the prime time for you? When do you think that you can win? You have to check didn't, on it. Didn't nah, didn't listen up now, listen up now. Now, way into what? Uh, getting this APC ticket. How did you have what do you mean by Because he was in government as a minister of state for petroleum. What do you mean by Mosul? Because in 2019... Uh, I mean, and what do you he, mean he by what, what do you mean by Muslim? Well, because he was in government, he then everybody there like everybody else, and he had upper hand. Well, that's what politics is about lobbying. Let me let me, let me tell saying. you something. Let me go way back. In 27, 27, Chief Timmy Prisuba looked at me and said, "Sam, come and join my team." I said, "On what premise?" He was saying so at um, Professor Zaiki's hotel. I said, "On what premise?" He said, "Because you're looking at the next governor of Bayelsa State." He was far from being the next governor of Bayes State, but he had an uncanny audacity. I looked at him and I said, let's go. Are you sure you want to be the governor? He said he wants to be the governor. I said, let's go. We'll do it. We lost the primaries to Jonathan. And we were at Mingi Dakoru's house. Yeah, everybody, they were, plus Mingi Dakoru, they were consoling us that, ah, 
Sorry, we, we did a good job. We have, we have done, eh? that, but we have lost. We should take it with good faith. I said, Your Excellency, we do not lie to I, Sam Atasu, I don't lose. And you have not lost, Your Excellency. Read my letter. Let me borrow the words of General Badmasi Babangida. We have only just stepped aside. All right. Wait, 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 very quickly. Let me just wrap it up. Let me just wrap it up. Two weeks later, Jonathan, that had come first, had been selected as vice presidential uh, running mate to um, the Yaradua. Yeah. And he was fronting the baller. I told to me that there's no way you're not going to win. He said to me, we're going to win. And I said, we win. Did we win or not? We won. We got the ticket and we went to Gobeha. Oh, okay. So what am I saying here? Yeah. Timmy has an uncanny ability and capacity to win. Sure, he he works better. He functions better under stress and duress. Well, uh, uh, the happen. opponent is actually giving him a lot of stress this time around. And this time around, you, you're playing. You're playing. Yes. You're playing yes. to this is an own goal actually no, no. by the APC. Scott. And the and, APC and, in 2019 having an issue. Yes, just hold on. The APC in 2019 scoring an own goal after winning the governorship election i mean it, it was kicked out yeah 24 anyway. hours to swear and in because and here we are again they didn't do due diligence yeah and less than 30 days yes. before the governorship election the same thing i mean history, you history experience, almost you happened. experience the okay you just hold on so okay. what's the implication for the uh, governorship election in Bayelsa? if for example apc is left out of the ballot does it mean governor diri is going to swim uh, his no, way no, through no, no, the no, government I, house no, again no, i can tell you this for free and i'm not saying this i, I was on the day Chief Tim Preceva was removed from office, you know, and other four other I was at the time the media advisor to the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation, uh, Mohammed Bela Adoki. So I, I followed the matter, you know, very diligently. The issues are very clear. Tim Preceva was governor from May 20, 2007 to uh, 27th of February. He was th two months, three months short of being in office for five years. So the issues are very clear. The Supreme Court said that because if you read, if you read the judgment, and funny, in, 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 no, 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 just, just hold on, no, 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 just hold on, just hold on, just hold on. No, 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 he's just trying to lay a foundation for him to arrive. Just go ahead. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Interestingly, yeah, the the judgment then it was Justice Dairo Mustafa who was a CGN, but the the man who read the the unanimous judgment was our brother, you know, Onogi. Water on again. And he said that what what the courts of what the court and the court of appeal did for Tim Preceva was for him to take the assets, to assume the assets of those one year, uh, of that of the one year of the of the eleven months or ten months and reject the liabilities. Because he said, fine, you said you were you were the the de facto governor, but you're not the jury governor. But that all the appointments you made, you know, the appropriation bill you signed were all, you know, that no, that you cannot do that. That you have to accept, you have to, it's, you have to accept liability for everything that happened that time. That as far as they, un they understand, that the famous of the constitution did not envisage the situation where one man will be in office for a day beyond eight years. And quickly, eight you know, years. quickly yes. he said, if not, if you allowed simply silver sail through, then people will become governor for three and a half years. Then the, ele the elections will be annulled. Then they will rerun. Then they will they will be sworn in. After yeah, three and a half years again, and, and, and then they will be president. They will be governors or presidents forever. And that was what they said. So what the what decision is record at that time has not been upturned. Okay. So that issue actually subsists because the court has said that so based on this uh, analysis that he's made that made it to reach that conclusion mm -hmm. that he cannot be governor for more than eight years. Yes, and this yes. instance, I, I, he I hasn't actually, been up to eight years, yeah. but of course. He's been up to five years. So, so if talk he comes to governor again, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean so I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be no, more no, than you that. See, you see, so, what, court, what's you, been the analysis no, within the, the camp of Timmy? We are, we, are, we, are, we are very certain that we're going to sail through. That I can tell you for sure. But for me to sit down here and try to talk about something that is in the court, all right, now in court, that has that, 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 a subsisting appeal will be prejudicial. Do you understand? I, I, would, I wouldn't want to speak on it. Because like, I, I, I sit down here, I'm even vexed that he's talking about it. No, well, you know, no, 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 There's already a subsistence judgment on that. That's why we can talk about that. That's why I spoke about it. Nigeria has come to a situation where judges are beginning to become influenced by public opinion. You now have court of public opinion. You have to have the real court. And you know, you see, it doesn't help the democracy. It doesn't really help the... Wait, 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 I'm coming. Hold up, hold up now. Hold up, please. Hold up, please. You asked me a question. And I've just categorically answered you. Today... The chairman, the national campaign chairman, 
the, the National um, Campaign Council for the uh, gubernatorial election, election in yes. was on a live broadcast, live uh, 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 radio program in Nyanagua. The entire APC cartel is in Nyanagua. Yes, the chief to be president was all over a Karamo local government. Campaign is going on swift, swift, uh, smoothly. Yeah, but the official flag of which was supposed to have been done today Listen up. was for postponed. certain reason. For certain, I don't. You see, sometimes you make a move and hope that and, and and allow your opponent to be tripping on that move. Meanwhile, you have another move to checkmate him. Well, Sam, you see, no, no, since you have less than thirty, 30 days will, will, before this government ship election, the man at the helm of affairs, <laughs> chief to be president, yeah. functions better under stress. Okay, so I will so ask you the same question that I ask him. Just yes. hold on. Yeah. What's, the what's, what's the implication for Bielsa politics if APC doesn't partake in this governorship election on November 11? It happened in River State before. APC did not take part in the, the election in 2019. So it's not going to be no. It's not going to be novel if it happens. In Welcome back guys. Thanks for watching the video with me. I hope you find the video very informative and also interesting. Guys, do me where to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. I'll be bringing you updates of more politics that are happening presently in Nigeria, Africa and other parts of the world. I will see you in my next update. I remain Juan. Have a wonderful day. Bye.